Hello, and welcome to another fantasy house tour. Uh, again, I have had company over, so the house is relatively clean. It's, you know, it's about as clean as it gets. And I thought I would do another one of these tours since we had um, renovations done on the house, so there's a lot of changes. Uh, let's get started. So first up is the loft. Here's the new door, which was put in. There used to just be a hole in the floor, but now there's a nice carpet up here. And oh yeah, the cat really appreciates it. So uh, I did a lot to this room. There are a lot of changes. Um, I guess I'll just start over here. So uh, here's the window. My boots are actually all inside of, well, most of them. <laughs> Some of them are over there. But a lot of them are inside of that ottoman. And then here is a little mirror, which, hello. Um, I have some necklaces and some jewelry that I put over on the side so I could see it, but it wasn't kind of um, fully like in the way. Here's the drawers. We have some figures here. There's Daenerys. Here's just a McFarland dragon. Here's a castle. And then moving along here, this was a really cool find this past year. This little um, step uh, set of drawers and cabinets. So here's a Xena figure and some more art. Um, there's one of my cosplay photos. I put that next to this um, sort of fire, like Empress. And then have these three eggs here, which are little emu eggs, which is awesome, that a friend gave me. Reminded her of the Game of Thrones eggs. And there's some coins that I've collected and some of the characters from my video game. And over here, let's see. Get this, here's a sorcerer's stone, some fun art, a mirror that's sitting behind the tree. Um, this, I have not actually figured out where to put this little sign up, but I did want to put it up somewhere, so it's just sitting there for now. Um, dragon skull, uh, dragon light. This was a really cool thing to do. So this dragon came with like a little ball light, but um, it broke and it was just white. But I ended up putting this little light, which is like a, I think a $30 Amazon light that sits on itself, or by itself. Um, and I ended up putting that cover on top of this and it ended up looking really cool. So, and then I have some fun lighting here. Also, this is a, this is a jewelry cabinet here and some more dragons. Whoop. There we go. So you can see them a little bit better. Um, almost all of the bulbs in this room uh, can change colors so I can change these to like any color. Um, but I do prefer these general colors. So I'll back this up just a little bit so you can see the full thing. It's so nice to come up here. And then, let's see. Um, so here's the bed. It's not really made, but uh, above it we have this, which is actually uh, two daggers. Um, this piece, which is something that I painted. And if you look inside, it has little necklaces on it. So it was originally, uh, and you can see my legs. Woo. Um, this was originally a thrifted um, dartboard. And so I turned it into a necklace holder and painted the whole thing. Um, some more of my cosplay photos. Here, um, this is my Arwen outfit. Now I have a lot of clothes, so <laughs> here's my closet with the clothes and, and um, some dresses that I have are um, displayed. So I have two res red dresses on either side and I have two gray dresses, one, two here, and then there's the full closet. So if we back up a little bit, you can see the whole thing. So. This whole section is mostly just fantasy dresses, which is hilarious. Um, this setup here is my, um, this is where I do like crafting or where I just sit and lately watch K-dramas. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so this is crafting table or eating. This is the TV. Um, and then I have a little Aloy here with um, art next to her, like that. I have this um, Daenerys costume print that um, I had printed out when I took, or when we went out and took that picture. And so there's the costume. I tried to get it like close-ish um, to the print. And then here's my work desk, which you see, here's my chair. There's trash. <laughs> um, so this is where I generally do work. This is where I'm normally sitting. And I have um, little Disney Infinity figures up here, which are very fun. Plus some extra figures that I thought would just fit. <laughs> I have a little pin collection going on here. I never thought I'd collect pins, but somehow I'm collecting pins. Um, there's a little cane. Oh, I did this. I um, attached this mirror to the back of this door, and all of these are actually little lights that turn on, so they help me when I wanna like check out an outfit and it's dark outside. And then as we move along over here, you can see it's a little bit messy, but <laughs> ignore that. Um, here is my makeup station. So here is the throne <laughs> that I sit in to do my makeup. Is it a little overboard? Yeah, probably. Um, those That's where all of my little light remote controls are. And then up here, I have, I have a little quote some good in this world and then I have all of these witcher figures as well as some more cosplay prints up and then over on the side here I have the last unicorn um, this is uh, something that I made at dragon stuff and then here's just another little dress displayed in the lighting so the way I did the lighting here is I just put these pretty inexpensive strip lights all around. Um, I did the same thing around this book cabinet and basically around the whole room. Um, and I changed the colors sometimes, depending like if there's a themed um, holiday or party or something. At the top here, um, started off with this little castle set, which I painted. It's just a little toy set. Um, and I found this awesome bookcase for, <laughs> for like, free or no money or yeah I think it was free um it was crazy and um that was really fun so I put all of the lighting in here to light all of these shelves so a lot of the books upstairs are more like YA novels um because I have our other fantasy novels downstairs and here I'll let you see you can see how the lights are they're just, they're just the RGB strip lights on either side and all the way around. And what I did is, <laughs> this is pretty silly, but this is, this is like black um, painter's tape. And I actually, I drilled a hole. Um, you can maybe see it on this bottom side. I kind of tried to cover it up too, but I drilled holes um, through these shelves so that I could essentially hide all of the lighting and so people wouldn't be able to really see it and that is most mostly all of the upstairs i'll show you how the lights work here so we'll like, turn these on and you can see um, here are these lights yeah here's the whole thing lit up it definitely lights up the bookcase a lot more, as well as the rest of the room. But it's a bit too bright for what I generally like, so I keep those off um, for the most part, unless I am doing makeup. And then, now we'll leave this room and we'll go out to the hall. Okay, so I turned off those lights. And before we leave this room, I also wanted to show you the chandelier up here. 
Stitch is already starting to get cobwebs, even though it's only been up there for four months. Um, and I put this dragon in there. And also, uh, if you guys are interested at all in this light, um, it's it's one of the ones I I think I found it on Amazon. I think it was like forty dollars. Um, but it, it adds something nice. It adds some nice movement to a room. And I feel like it helps give this whole wall a really nice um, look. Also, um, as far as this mirror goes with all these little lights, the reason why I did this was so that I could um, like check out outfits and cotton costumes and stuff like that with light. Um, but I didn't, I didn't want one of those ultra modern mirrors that have the um, inlaid light. I actually really like those. They are very expensive, um, but uh, they none of them come with like a nice pretty frame like this. That's kind of more um, my style. So this is my next, this is my next best option that I came up with, which was tangling a bunch of lights with all of these leaves. Um, and that gives me some nice light so that I can uh, look at things while also um, uh, having like a nice a nice thing that kind of fits in the room. So yeah. All right. Oh, I didn't look up there, but okay. So moving out of this room, we're moving into the stairwell, and this is fun. So um, the big fun thing in this little space here is this uh, bookshelf. Um, I did a similar thing in this bookshelf um, as far as the lighting. These are actually those uh, lights that you put in a car. Um, so they, they come uh, in, with four individual lights um, and then you you put a, they have like a little wire that goes to them. Um, so they're easy to put up. So we have this shelf. The shelf is all of my avatar stuff, um, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna show you some of these pieces. Moving up, we have the Ghibli shelf. You can see all of these. It's mostly just Howl's Moving Castle and Princess Mononoke. <laughs> I don't really have anything else on that one, but maybe I will in the future. And then here are just some anime characters that I like. So we have Lelouch, we have Erza, Tsunade, um, Makise Krisu, and the boy. Oh, why is why am I blanking on his name? Mustang, that's it. Um, and then up here, all by himself, is Darian from the Heroic Legend of Arslan. And that's up there uh, with a couple of <laughs> these little guys from uh, the Zelda games. And then right here is um, some Ghibli stuff as well. Uh, prints that I got at a convention. Here are some prints that I have printed out. And here is my birthday um, sort of like uh, thing. I these are, these are usually made for like weddings when people get married and it's like in the middle, it says like, you know, the, the names of the couple or whatever and the date that they got married. But I was like, nope, it's for my 30th birthday. So I had a bunch of friends sign um, all these little leaves and the leaves were not painted green before. So I painted them all green and then gave everyone the little thin gold Sharpies so that they could um, be on my wall forever. <laughs> and then here we go, going up. So another Zelda thing. Um, we have a little hidden Gandalf, he's very swirly. He felt a little more animated, so that's kind of why I put him out here. Um, and then we also have just some more weapons, including this Xena sword. This Eye of Elena from the Throne of Glass series that I made. And then we're going down the stairs. Oh. Uh, this was such a fun chandelier I found on eBay. Um, the light bulbs also are like color changing, um, just like most everything else. Um, I put a bunch of these little plants in here. I do want to paint this at some point, I just haven't gotten to it yet. And then I just stuck the plushie in the middle. So I think it's a very fun, a fun little uh, light for the hallway. And then up here, a lot of people talk to me about 
um, the frames that I find. So there's like a little space right here. It's missing something. I need to put something there. Um, but some of the frames that I find are thrifted, like this one for the Xena print. Um, and then some of them, this one I just bought on Amazon. Um, some of the larger ones I buy from different websites, but it's, it's, frames can get pretty expensive. So I try mostly to thrift, uh, thrift frames and then just print things or buy things in more standard sizes. Um, a lot of prints are 11 by 17 though. So like I got this one from the artist originally, um, originally I thought it was going to be a 12 by 18, but it ended up being 11 by 17. So here is some more of this art, which by the way, it's, uh, we had a, a holiday party. And so I just threw a bunch of lights along the stairs. <laughs> Um, this isn't the final layout. I'll probably never have a final layout of these stairs, but it's a layout. Um, I had some fun putting up these shelves. So you have a lot of little books here. Um, I hid these lights. They're uh, like battery operated, um, like remote control lights, but they light up the art. Um, these two canvas prints, I think I, yeah, I think I got those on Amazon this um print and this print i had printed on vistaprint um a lot of these are actually vistaprint um if i didn't buy them from the artist i put up this little mirror here oliver is curious about stuff here you go just some more stuff um this is definitely a, a thrifted frame um these ones are from art to frame art here and then going down the stairs some more you can see more art this is also from art to frame these uh, brick things um, are pretty fun I had them in my bedroom growing up as a kid my, my mom found them on the side of the road um, someone was just throwing them away they were actual like red brick colored and I painted them um, when I was younger I just spray painted them had them up in my room like a castle room and recently she was getting rid of them. So she asked me if I wanted them again and I said, yep. So I put them around the house here. Here's some more books. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even turn around. Not at all. So you can see back up there. So I'm going so slowly. It's a very long tour. Um, this is my cosplay wall. So you can see a lot of my cosplay prints. These are some of the pictures that I'm most proud of. Um, it's a lot of fun doing collaborations with the different photographers, figuring out the lighting, figuring out settings, and all sorts of stuff. So there's a lot that goes into every photo, um, and sometimes it's really fun to show off the work. So I'm here, I'm finally going to step down the stairs a bit. Have a little basilisk in there. We have this Princess Mononoke. Um, I painted this frame. Uh, this is a print that I got from Anime Expo years ago. And yeah, some more Witcher stuff. I have this sword here. I try to put a weapon on most walls. So most walls you'll, you'll see around my house. I have little weapons. I don't really look at those little dragons very much, but those were pretty fun. Having 3D things that sort of pop out of the walls are really nice. Um, they add a lot more like texture to a space and you can hear uh, <laughs> Ulysses is playing video games and he is shouting at the computer. Um, yeah, I, I got this big mirror. Uh, they didn't have it in the right color, um, but it's very large. So I actually, uh, when I got it home, it was white and I liked the texture on it. So um, I just went out and I painted it. Um, I spray painted it and then did some hand painting on it to give it a little bit more depth. And there you go. These I found at a little thrift shop. Um, this is just like a little cheap sort of banner. And I have this, oh, don't wanna do that. 
<laughs> um, I have these curtains uh, that I got from something as well. Um, I think they were also free. And then here are the two little shelves on the other side of these stairs. So you can see I have some books here. I have some um, little fossil things, a dragon, more books, more little lights, and <laughs> an anime sword, um, as well as this cool uh, tapestry of the sword that I got on Etsy. Really cool, Etsy artist made that. And then coming down here, so now we have gone all the way down the stairs. And here is a cutout to underneath the stairs. I'll give you like a little better view here. So this is kind of how you walk in. It's, it's a bit of an awkward space, but we tried to make it work. Um, here's the door to the outside. And then here are the washer and dryer. And then here is the, the sort of bar that we're putting up, which I will update this at some point. I want to put up shelves for all of the, the cool bottles that I want to keep. Um, I want to actually, we put the, we made this pretty temporary, um, but I want to actually like paint this wood underneath um, and fix it up nice so it's, maybe actually just stain it. I might just stain the wood underneath. But yeah, so um, this is a, this is a sort of floating, um, table that uh, my dad and I put together um, that just sits on top of these. They don't, it, it like floats on top of them because it's actually being held up um, along the walls. So um, we're able to put a lot of stuff on them. And yeah, that's it for sort of the back area of the house. Um, I also put up this little green dragon sign <laughs> um, from my Lord of the Rings party. And then as we come along over here, now we're in the kitchen. So, some more stuff from the Lord of the Rings party. Um, I lit up this little space here, uh, which is pretty fun. And here I have the matching prancing pony, pony um, <laughs> sign, as well as these little oven mitts that we use on a pretty regular basis. And then these little I didn't know where to put, a, put these dragons, so I put them there. Um, I do want to paint all of the white trim in the whole house. Um, I want to do it darker because I think the white just looks too modern. And I'm going to go and tell Oliver to stop scratching. We've also stocked up on alcohol. Yeah. We had one party where we ran out and then we swore never again. So. <laughs> um, oh, and then this cabinet has a bunch of goblets, fantasy goblets, little dragons and fairies on them, um, which are fun to bring out for fantasy parties. And then let's see, moving out of this room, we are going to head into the main two rooms. So here, um, it is winter time and we have um, our Christmas lights up still. So yes, it is January that I'm recording this and I will take them down soon. Right now, <laughs> it is winter, look. Uh, this is a beautiful buffet from the 1800s, Germany, that um, I found for sale secondhand. Um, it's really nice. It has like a lot of carving detail in it. And um, here is my sting sword. And above is my Arwen sword, which I got to put up finally. Um, this stuff I kind of change out um, the display depending on what holiday it is. I also change out these light colors. Um, they change as well, so you can kind of see. Here's little dragons. Um, here's a little like Outlander bottle. This is like a dollar store um, like colored bottle. And then I just stuck this uh, little metal Outlander thing on it. Here, whoop, I just ran into a chair. This map wall, which is only allowed to have maps on it. Um, sorry, we have a bunch of extra chairs out in the house right now because um, we hosted some, some little events, but uh, the chairs are sort of blocking things, but there are our fantasy maps. And then 
and here um, is the latest uh, configuration of this bookcase. So we have the dragon on top. We have this full just Stormlight Archive um, shelf now. It has a little wit coin, which is very fun. And then here are the leather bound editions. And then um, here are the um, Lightbringer series. By the way, anything that has so I, I made these little, um, I'm not really focusing on this. I don't know. Um, but anyways, these little markers here are showing what things I have signed um, by the authors on these book cases. So like over here, you see it says Mistborn, and it's right next to the Mistborn book. Um, same thing over here. So I have the Stormlight Archive 1 through 3 um, signed, not Rhythm of War. And going down here, we have our Harry Dresden. Um, Yuli got me into the Dresden Files, and um, I actually listened to all of the audiobooks, but I decided to start collecting the hardcovers, so these are all my hardcovers, as well as this really cool statue. It was from the Bradford Exchange. I don't know if they're making it anymore, but I decided to get it when it popped up. Um, down here, I have um, some of my Wheel of Time books, which I have not read them yet, but um, Yuli has read them. And I have Knife of Dreams is signed, a uh, little Lord of the Rings stuff, more books, more books, more books, some more things signed, um, dog toys. <laughs> And moving over here, got this dragon matching on this side. So you have the dueling castles here, matching castles. And uh, the top shelf is all Lord of the Rings. So you have these two um, collector's edition books, this Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, as well as the collector's edition uh, DVDs, which I thought were just really pretty. I have the Blu-rays, but I just love these covers so much. They're very nostalgic for me, so I got them. Um, and I have these little rings here, as well as the one ring, of course. Moving down is the Game of Thrones shelf. Um, I'm still bitter about it. I will probably always be bitter and betrayed and hurt by uh, the end of Game of Thrones and just like the last two seasons in general. But um, here are the books. Here um, is the throne and some of the figures that I've kept. Next is Harry Potter. Also issues with the author, but um, you know, it's very nostalgic and I do like a lot of the world building and um, I have this really cool pewter hippogriff that um, I found someone selling locally nearby. So I went and picked that up, which was really cool. And I have these two I have this little like diadem necklace and the time turner, um, as well as this cool little like phoenix um, like pewter figure and little coins, also little Ringotts coins. So that's the Harry Potter shelf. Um, also, this is a a basilisk, um, another basilisk. What house has two basilisks? Um, down here, this isn't really like a finished shelf, I've taken some stuff off of it, but um, I tried making it into like like a TV sort of shelf and it's, uh, it's not really working, but I'll, I'll figure it out. It's very blank right now. And then down here um, are just like larger books and things, I just didn't know where to put them, so they came down here. They're basically, yeah, the, the, the lower tier where I just don't know where exactly to put them. And over here... <laughs> Yuli's so loud. Okay, I've asked him to be a little bit quieter <laughs> while I do this tour, this extremely long tour. Um, here, uh, along this little window outcropping thing in the house, um, I have put the pewter... <laughs> Gandalf is just running straight into a wall, um, but it sort of fit here, so I put him here. That's why you can also see them on either side. Um, there's, a little, there's a little dragon here dragon lamp um, and then here whoop, focus, is a little snack table usually for parties um, 
Over here was the prize table for parties. That's just a box full of stuff. Um, and then this buffet is also filled with more food. Um, and in general, this is kind of the look of the whole, the whole room. Kind of see. Um, oh, I did kind of want to talk about this for a second because it's really cool. This is a scepter. Um, I think it's the Franklin Mint, but it's like a replica of um, some royal family scepter that was passed down for generations or something. And they use like a narwhal horn. Um, yeah, here's the round table as it was before. Um, something else that's kind of new in this room besides the curtains, which we put up for the renovations and never took down because uh, I like them now, is this cabinet here, which has just a bunch of like board games and stuff and crafting supplies. There's a little mirror over there. And then I have um, swords on either side of this walkway. So this one is um, the, oh, this is wobbly. Um, this is uh, the Witch King sword from the Lord of the Rings. And then on the opposite side is Gandalf's sword. So this one is actually the United Cutlery version. This one's just like a, a cheaper replica. Um, <laughs> I put red bows on everything for the holidays. Um, that is uh, Yuli stuff. I put a bunch of headdresses up on top of these shelves in this room. Um, they're, that one's like falling off. I have to fix some of them up there. Anyways, um, moving down, um, I need to fix, I keep, I keep seeing things that I need to fix in these videos. Um, so I have these like three dragons, these three dark dragons. Um, I have a Wonder Woman here, which, which is pretty cool. And I put like candles down there. Um, here is a little uh, Shadow of War statue that I picked up a couple years ago locally. It's pretty fun. Moving around this way, we have Gandalf stuff, we have Link Shield, we have a Skyrim map. It's all over the place. This is actually another dragon table. I have a lot of these dragon tables. Um, this was our little Christmas tree this year that my parents brought down from Northern California. They cut it down themselves. It's very small and cute. Here's a little Gandalf with a little quote. Um, and by little Gandalf, I mean he's 20 inches tall, so that's pretty large for a figure, but you know, a little compared to me. Then over on this side, we have these um, two Witcher swords uh, on opposite sides of this mirror, and these little dragons. Coming this way, I put up little other little matching shelves on either side as well that have cute figures, and I was like, I don't know where to put them, so I put them there. Um, above, uh, right next to the front door, there is this cool knife. Um, it's very shiny and I don't know it was like ten dollars or something and it was like shipped on Facebook marketplace it's ridiculous so here's the front mirror and then um, here is the curtain rod which behind this is actually like three like three little windows that have um, the round tops like this so I actually heated a I did this like early on when we first moved in but I heated a um, uh, PVC pipe um, and and basically like formed it to the, the shape of the windows um, and then put the curtains on top so and then you know completely ruined the whole look of everything by um, <laughs> putting this projector screen here but I eventually want to paint that it's just all the things that you never get around to there's Tala there is the rift oh she heard me say her name good girl yeah and then if we go over here on this side, um, I have the Witcher Fiend that is now on top of this dragon table. There's two, there's a dragon table on either side. I like symmetry, if you can't tell. Um, here's a dagger. Here are two Weta figures. And another two Weta figures. These ones I'm really proud of getting. I have gotta fix these cables. What am I doing with my life? I'm just sitting around not fixing cables. So here they are, they're very pretty. I'm gonna drop this. Oh, it's terrible. Um, and this 
some more headdress stuff. So some things that I made, some things that I didn't. That one I made, that one I bought, that one I half made and half bought, and that one I fully made. And then over here um, is, I always like it at this time of year because I like the little lights. Um, usually we have these two lights on instead, but uh, this time of year I usually just like having the little Christmas lights up. And we have the three dragon eggs from Game of Thrones, a little wreath, and then my mercy wings, which I've had up above the fireplace for a while. Um, I think they look really nice there. I did get these um, dragonstone book um, bookends. And I have put them up here for now because I liked them next to the dragon eggs, but um, I don't know where I'll, I'll put them later. But the candles also I tried to make match. So this whole space ends up looking like this. And then this couch is actually, these two pieces go on either side of this one. So it actually becomes one long four seater couch, which they're all uh, recliners. Um, but we, usually there's just two of us watching at a time, so we have these two out and facing the projector screen. Um, and these two sit here for either conversations when guests come over or um, we move them. But it's nicer because then we have a much larger, <laughs> a much larger walk space. I'm laughing at Yuli um, walking through this house. So those are those two rooms, which I just spent seven minutes. Oh my gosh.